There are lots of times when you think you might want to have a visitor to your classroom to come speak on a topic, but perhaps they can't come, or you don't want them to speak for an hour if they come in and it's not worth their time just to come for five or ten minutes. So what you can do is have a Google Hangout with them and record it and or show it live to other people as it's occurring. The catch is that you have to have a Google Plus account and so does the person who is interviewing, being interviewed, but that's not that hard. You just need to go to plus.google.com and sign up and there are a couple of questions it's going to ask you and the person you're interviewing. Then what you have to do is you need to connect your YouTube and your Google Plus account together. So for that I'm going to bring in a guest who's going to show you how to do that. So to connect to Google Plus, all we need to do is to click on our name up here and then go to our settings here. Now, if you are seeing something different here, then you are already connected to Google Plus, so you don't need to worry about it. It's only when you have this single column of uh, links here on the drop down that you know that you're disconnected from Google Plus. If you have profile, YouTube settings, all that, then you're connected to Google Plus, so you don't need to go any further. But when you're like this, then you're definitely disconnected from Google Plus. Okay, so in your settings area, you'll have uh, this part here. Now, this may be different because you may have changed your um, icon or whatever. But on here, you'll have link channel with Google+. Plus. So click on that. Now, it'll ask you if you want to keep your YouTube name or if you want to choose a better name. If you want to choose a better name, click on that. Enter in the name that you want. And then you'll uh, agree to the pages there. Or if you want to uh, use this as your YouTube username, then just select that. Then click on done. Oh, make sure to click on the all agree icon there. Then it'll ask you for a number to verify your account. So I'm going to stick in a number right now. And I'll send this as a text message. So I'll click continue. And then I get the verification code on my phone. So I'll just put that in. and click on continue here and now what it's done is that it's given me the uh, this square icon here so now I can keep this account here so I've got Samson James online and you can see that it's the same up on the top that when we drop down we've got these there now if you have the icon that is the personal one which is the not square one then you're going to have your name up there and then what you want to do is in that case which I'll show you now you'll need to, if you want to keep your name up here your username then you're going to have to have a pages account rather than a personal account and I can show you exactly what that's like so if I go back to my YouTube settings oh, I'm in it already so uh, temporary disconnect this click on OK so go back to, to my settings again now when I link my channel here I'm going to get this here so if I just click on here you're going to get this here which is a personal account and that's how you link the two. Now to record, it couldn't be easier. You simply go to YouTube and you go to my channel. And then you come from my channel to video manager and you're gonna see lots of videos. And by the way, if you wanna get rid of them, if you're testing things, you just click here and you push on the delete. But to make a video, all I'm going to do is go down to here to live events in video manager. I'm going to start a hangout. And this hangout, you can send the URL up here. And to invite someone, you can simply put their name in here. And again, you have the link. And you don't have to. Uh, you, know, you can let it broadcast for I think 18 hours so you could send some of the link shortly after you start you just go down to wherever you have the person's name and put them in but we're not even going to do that now and then 
it's right below where the screencast is being shown, right below your picture, it says start broadcast and you'd push the button and it would start the broadcast. It gives you a three, two, one. Uh, and what I do is before I push broadcast, I've already connected with the person. I say, how are you doing? We talk maybe a bit, introduce them to the kids, and then I start the broadcast, uh, which records. And when you're done, about five minutes later, if you go to your videos under video manager, you will see it. And if you want to change the name or whatever or delete it, you can. I think for these interviews, you probably want to limit them just like you do any flip video to 10 minutes or less. That is how you can invite people to your class who may be a world apart. Hope this was helpful.